Hey fellas, well it's time for a new build. And in this one we're going to be building Tamiya's P47 uh, Razorback. Uh, so the one with the spine basically. And as with Tamiya, uh, this will go together fairly quickly. So as normal with most aircraft builds, we start with a cockpit. And as you can see, I'm just cutting them out for now and cleaning all the parts up. Uh, ready for priming, painting and getting it all together. Any delicate parts just take care. I tend to use a knife, I put it laid flat as you can see and just gently with a knife just cut it out. It might take a while to get it out but I'd rather do it this way than try and uh, rush it and break it and then it's just a case of cleaning it all carefully. And here you can see the cockpit uh, floor and what side walls all nicely together, really nice detail. Then we have got it painted. Uh, the straps on this one, uh, I'm actually using the decal. Uh, and all I've done, I've left it on the backing paper and just cut round it and then folded it in. Uh, and hopefully, it, once it's all been painted and what have you and glossed and then uh, matte coated, it should blend in. Well, that's hope anyway. Then we move on to the engine. I'm just adding some ignition wires here just to add that a little bit more detail to it. And then you can see I am now adding some uh, metallic chipping with just some uh, a graphite pencil. Just where I think the, the pilot's boots would catch and chip paint and all that sort of stuff. And then we've got the the cockpit all done. Uh, as you can see, I think it's turned out rather well. before this uh, builds flown together so we're already on to the uh, the painting stage so I've primed it uh, and now I'm just doing some uh, pre-shading to highlight some panels and all that sort of stuff
while that was drying uh, I decided I'd add some more realism to the bombs uh, these were cast textures so just with some uh, extra fin and a cut off brush I just dappled them over just to give me that little bit of texture on the actual bombs themselves And next up, right, we need to start looking at our mask set ready for the, the paint. And as you can see, I've already uh, sprayed the blue. Uh, and now I'm going to attach the actual uh, markings themselves. So just with a bit of tape over the center, then pull it back. As you can see, it takes it all up. And then we can position this where we want it. like so uh, once it's in position oh, I'm gonna wait, Nige. once it's in position we can then remove the tape and we should take off just where we don't want it so I'm pushing it down burnishing it down and what have you and then peeling it back gently and then I can take out the the star and the other white bits. Also these parts can then be put to one side uh, to be reused again later. Also, when we've painted the white, so I'll very gently take them off. There you can see I'm just sticking them down onto the backing sheet again. And then all I'm going to do, I'm just going to burnish it all down, getting it ready for paint. So wherever there's any panel lines, I'm just pushing the, the masking tape into the panel line to make sure we don't get any bleed through. All markings on this, apart from the main uh, uh, Indian head and the uh, engine cowl, will be painted. And next up, we're ready to paint the actual wire. Just right to start with. And it's going to Once the white is painted, we can start painting the uh, camouflage with the grey as it's just all one colour. I just decided to just show you as I'm finished off. As you can see, I've just masked up and double making double sure I've covered up all the gaps between the outer and inner parts of the mask set.
and then with a drop of white in there I'm going to start lightening some of the panels now just ever so gently as you can see probably a little bit stark there but once it dries down it should blend in lovely Right, we need to mask up the uh, the rounder bits on uh, the bombs and for this I'm going to use some washers so I'll just get the right size washers after I've painted the, the bomb actually yellow and then all I'm going to do is just roll these washers on there and that will do the masking for me Then it's time to paint the olive drab on the bombs and we will be using this on the rest of the, the weapons and some of the and the upper surfaces as well. And then moving on to the upper surface of the actual uh, airframe. Time to remove the masking on the actual bombs themselves. So we'll start with the nose and then we'll just peel the washes off and you're left with, if I can get that one off, there we are. A nice de demarcation line all the way around without having to worry about getting it nice and straight. Okay, the moment of truth. Let's remove these masks now and see what we're left with. And there we are, one US insignia. Same on the, the actual fuselage now these were a bit of a mare to actually mask up because of that indentation uh, where the, the you know the vents are or whatever you want to call it but again 
I was really chuffed how they turned out. And then it was time to have a look at the lettering. And there we are, the H and the V at the front. H at the back needed some uh, going over, uh, but that wasn't a major issue. And here you can see the bottom as well. After a glass varnish, it's time to start weathering. So starting with uh, some MIG uh, dart wash, just into all the panel lines, and then we'll remove it. I'm removing it with a uh, just a bit of kitchen paper. Uh, if you have any stubborn spots, you can just use some white spirit or some uh, turps or you know odorless spinners or something like that, and that will remove it straight away. Once that was removed, I gave the aircraft a, uh, a matte coat and then I'm going to start using some oils. Uh, matte coat because I wanted the, the oils to grip a bit more. Okay, so first off, getting some odorless thinners and I'm just wetting the surface and then I'm just going to gently dab different colours browns, greens, yellows all over the airframe just to create some fainting and some contrast.
Then using a, a Motel pen, uh, just filling in for the uh, one of the landing lights and on the uh, well the the wing indicator lights. Well, I don't know what they're called. If I'm honest. Uh, just using that to highlight the back, and then we'll be able to paint those in a different colour. At this point, I've already done some chipping uh, with. Uh, some paint but now I'm going to use some watercolour pencils and just get a white a white a wet bit of sponge and just with a silver pencil and just dabbing it on creating small precise little chips And there she is, all finished. I've really enjoyed this build. Uh, obviously it was Tammy, so it went together like a dream. And using the mass set for the first time, uh, I really enjoyed as well once I got the hang of it. Anyway, that's it for now fellas. See you on the next one.